because Zeth is really going to want to know this. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, we talked about, let's talk about this. If I say x comma y, all right, so now what we have, ladies and gentlemen, q prime is 90 degrees, q double prime is a reflection of 180 degrees, and q triple prime is a reflection of 270. I really need you guys to be paying attention, really to understand this, because this is the whole point of what we've been talking about. If I say x comma y, and I go over here and I say negative y x, that for q, this is a reflection of what? 90, 180, or 270? What would you say this is? A reflection of what? 90 degrees in what direction, though? That is from here to here in the counterclockwise direction. So to go from here to here, that would be counterclockwise. Then, so that's 90 degrees counterclockwise. All right? But now, then I did x comma y. If I go to here and I say y comma negative x, what did we say that was in the counterclockwise direction? What does this tell you to do? This is rotate how much in counterclockwise direction? 270 degrees. So that's 270 degrees counterclockwise. All right? But now, ladies and gentlemen, what if I wanted to talk about something clockwise? This. Remember when I showed you those arrows, Damon? And that's what I was talking about. Now, when we're doing counterclockwise, we're, sh we're moving them like this. So what if I wanted to take this point and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise? If I take this point and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, where do you think that's going to land? At Q what? Triple prime, right? So do you guys see that 90 degrees, this is the main important thing that Alexandra, everybody needs to look up, Dennis. The main important thing that I want to say to you is rotating, rotating a point 90 degrees clockwise is the same thing as rotating it 270 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, So I can say that, hey, this is 90 degrees counterclockwise, yes? I could also say that's 270 degrees clockwise. That's the same thing, right? To here to here is 90 degrees counterclockwise. But I could also rotate it all the way around and give you counterclock and give you the clockwise direction of 270 degrees. Does everybody see that? And then over here, x to y, x to negative y. Well, yes, that's 270 degrees counterclockwise, but that's also 90 degrees clockwise. And what's important about that, the reason why I say that is because, Kim, I might say, uh, graph some, show me a, a figure and rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. You might say, OK, I got that written down on my notes. 90 degrees counterclockwise, right there. And then I'd say, all right, now rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. And you have to remember, what was 90 degrees clockwise? And as long as, Christian, you can understand that 90 degrees clockwise is the same thing as 270 degrees counterclockwise, you can go ahead and use that formula for that. OK? So there we go with that. Now, the next thing I'd like to do, before I give you guys some problems to do, because we only have about 45 minutes.